Everyone has a different reason for walking the Camino, religious or spiritual, historic or cultural, or in our case, just a good challenge. In 2016, we walked the 800 kilometer Camino Francis. Now we're back to do Portugal. But first, we need to pick up our credentials. Our focus was on walking every step from Lisbon to Santiago. But as far as accommodation goes, we opted for a softer option. To stay in hostels and hotels. With our early 6am starts, I suggest we were doing the pilgrim staying in the Alberghas a big favour. It's time to go. Here we are walking the streets of Lisbon. It's about 7 o'clock. Uh, we left about half an hour ago. We've already walked past the cathedral. Traffic's starting to build up a little bit. We've been walking about two hours, just past that place there behind us, famous hotel, I guess, in Lisbon. And we're walking on now to this bridge, which you can see in the background there. Apparently it's one of the longest bridges in Europe. probably covered about 18 kilometers. It's been a bit slow going. We're about three kilometers outside Alpriet, which originally we were going to stay until we found out that um, that the old burger there was being refurbished or something like that. So our other choices now is that we were going to walk on another 10 kilometers and we were going to catch a train 10 kilometers on. And then the next morning we'll get the train to bring us back that 10 kilometers and walk there because we want to make sure we walk the whole duration you know from Lisbon obviously to Santiago. Day two in the Camino, and as you can see, it's quite dangerous in parts. It's nice when you're in the, um, the country zones, not that we've seen too much of it. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so this is the town of Alandra. So last night in Villafranca, we stayed at Hostel DP. Beautiful little place, actually, very good value. 30 euro a night, and that included breakfast, which was very nice. Antoinette, what do you think of today? Lots of highways, lots of industrial areas. Overall, not too bad. Could be nicer. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of talk about the first few days on the Camino, how you're just walking on the roads. Cars. And that's certainly the case. I mean, you have to walk right over on the left-hand side. and Parking. Yeah. There's an example, like... It's all pretty dangerous stuff. You just have to rely on them. Moving on. So at the moment we're about, I think it's about eight or nine kilometers out of Azerbaijan. But all is going well. And yeah, chat soon. Bye. So greetings. Day three of the Camino. Today we're walking to Centerum. It's like another beautiful day. One of the big fears today we had was reading on a few sites about some dog attacks in this particular area. So, got walking poles at the ready, which if we had to, I guess we'd, we'd use and hear lots of obscenities at the dogs, hoping that they'll back off. Don't know what that gate's meant to be protecting. It's a good idea to start with a fence. We're probably about three or four kilometers in at the moment. Had a good night last night, stayed at the Oro Hotel. 45 euro a night, nice double room.
day for a daydream. What a day for a daydreaming boy. And I'm lost in a daydream. Dreaming about my bundle of joy. And even if time ain't really on my side, it's one of those days for taking a walk outside. I'm blowing the day to take a walk in the sun and follow my face on somebody's new mode lawn. Disgusting, slippery, thick mud caked on our shoes, and the smell is horrible. So much for having tread. The last few days it hasn't rained at all. It did rain a bit last night. It didn't seem to be too heavy, but I think the, the water just sits on top of the soil here. There must be little sand there for it to sink in. Looks like it'll be here for another couple of days. Um, we stayed yesterday in Santarum. We actually had a rest day. had a rest day, basically the first three days. Both had a few little niggling injuries and we'd walked 30 kilometers plus, so we just figured, you know what, let's have a break. So officially this is our fourth walking day. And we're walking from here to Galicia. Well, only about 10 minutes ago, we um, were forced to throw on the ponchos with a quick rain shower coming through. You wouldn't believe it now. It came from behind us. We looked, we were looking behind us saw all black clouds. Now as we look behind, all you see is blue sky. Here we are, this is our fifth walking day on the Camino. Uh, six days all up with that one rest day that we had in Santorum. Last night we made it as far as Golija, which is uh, quite a nice little town. And um, today we're traveling on to Toma. 30 kilometer plus day today. We stayed in a great place last night. Can't think of the name of it, so here it is up down the bottom of the screen. The host there was magnificent, Fernando. And to top it all off, this morning he put on the nicest breakfast. So far we've walked 10 kilometers though, and I must say that there hasn't been one place open for coffee or anything like that. So a bit, bit disappointed about that. Here's just a quick look around uh, where we're walking through. So we're about a kilometer the other side of Italia. My feet up. This is another 30 kilometer day from Tomar to Al Vazira. It is April the 1st and it is also Easter Sunday. Happy so. Easter! Hello! Bon dia! Good left. In the first four or five days, we've, we haven't seen a pilgrim on the trail, but just in this last day, we've met three people. We were 
walking with them for a while today. Mick is from England, Diane is from Alabama, and Yaroslav is, is from Lithuania. Lithuania. So yeah, so it's been good, good to just chat with other people. We left Al Vazira uh, probably about an hour and a half ago, and we're heading to Al Vorge, which is 26 kilometers. Most people from here, I think, walk on a little bit further to Rabakal, I think it's called. But we're just going to take it easy. It's been quite an interesting day. The, the weather forecast for today is for rain, rain, rain. And we've already had our ponchos on for probably a good half hour when the rain started, but it's stopped now. Hola. Bon dia. Bon dia. Are we having fun? Amazing. So we were looking for a place to stay around Al Vorg and um, I stumbled upon this place here which is called Casa Vale Florida. It's 55 euro a night, just to give you an idea of how lucky you can get at some stage. I'll just show you a little bit about it because it's quite cool. And yeah, sort of come inside. The weird thing about it is that we're the only people here and this place has got like yeah, six or seven bedrooms, all beautifully, beautifully done up. We've got this whole place to ourselves. Pretty happy with it. Might help someone who's looking for some kind of accommodation. It's funny, lying in bed at five o'clock in the morning and hearing the raindrops on the roof. Never a nice thought to sort of getting packed up and walking 30 kilometres. Today we're walking to Combra, about 30 kilometres from Alvorge where we started. We decided to do some washing because we've been walking for a few days without washing. So the lady of the place uh, had an open fire going for us because a few of our socks are soaking wet. And I did say to Julian, please keep an eye on your own socks. Anyway, so I turned my socks over, making sure our shirts and trousers were drying. And I could smell something funny. I opened my eyes and there it was, Julian's two inner lining socks were melting away. His own fault but I had to be the bearer of bad news. Julian was not happy at all. He was pretty upset, actually. He took photos of his socks and said goodbye to them and buried them out the back. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that's Antoinette's take on it. <laughs> she was looking after the socks and she let them burn, baby, burn. Not happy. So that's the sock saga. Yesterday we walked as far as Sanashi, which is about 10 kilometers short of the far bigger town, Combra. Uh, we didn't want to stay in Sanashi, so we caught a cab for the 10 kilometers into Combra. And then we decided that what we would do is taxi back to Sanashi today, which is what we've just done. And we're walking into Combra. We want to be able to say that we've walked every bit of the Camino, just a personal thing for us. Another reason for stopping yesterday was that it was raining a lot and we just had a few niggling injuries. All is good and Combra is quite nice. We're staying at the Astoria Hotel, very old hotel with the yeah, 30s decor, that sort of stuff, but it's very nice. It's just about 6.30 and we're just walking out of Coimbra. Beautiful time of the morning. Dawning of a new day. Meal Hada, Meal Hader. Not really sure how you're meant to say it, but this is how it looks. This is where we're traveling today. We're about 10 to 12 kilometers in. We started from Cumbria this morning and we're making fairly good progress. Lots of walking on roads again. Hasn't been too bad though, it's been quite flat, which has been good. And we just passed through a nice marketplace. That's plenty.
no threat of rain today, which is good. And um, we've got a nice place worked out just north of Mielhada. This is a bit of the terrain that we're walking through. We're keeping the birds fairly dry. Six to seven kilometers outside Aguida, which is where we're staying tonight. How much is that doggy in the window? You're a good boy, aren't you? You're not barking like all the other millions. It's kind of rained a lot of the day today. Uh, we stayed at Mil Hara last night in a place I can't remember the name of. It's something like Quintos Dos Tre Pinero or something. Anyway, should be on the bottom of the screen, so just, just look there. Basically, the first five or six kilometers were good. Kind of picked up the pace a little bit now. It's getting close to midday with about five k's to go. And the beat goes on. So this morning we left Aguida. Basically we stayed in a fairly overpriced hotel. We hadn't booked. Went to a couple of places beforehand and um, yeah, they were booked out. So today we're meant to be going to a, just a short day of about 17 kilometers to Valbergia, Velha. Here's a couple of friends. Oop. Just some of the things we have to encounter. Thankfully, most of them are behind walls. So yeah, we're meant to have just 17 kilometers to go today, but we looked around at all the places to stay there and um, nothing nothing rates well. Instead, we booked accommodation in a place called Oliveira, which is probably about another 15 kilometers on. We're just gonna walk as much of that as we can and then call a cab to take us and then we'll retrace tomorrow and get a taxi back there and walk back. I don't think I've seen as many oranges or lemons as I have anywhere in my life as I have here. They're just everywhere. Most of them are dropped to the ground. And yet you go to a restaurant or whatever, like, you know, even in a hotel, and to get pure orange juice is virtually impossible. So I don't know what they do with it. I think they just discard it. Been a couple of big hills today, or sort of fairly big hills. It's supposed to be raining this afternoon. So far we've avoided it. Let's just see how we go. Yay, another church. We stayed last night in a town called Oliveira. We kind of didn't quite walk to there yesterday. We got within about seven kilometers. The rain was just so bad. It was just horrible. We um, got our taxi there yesterday, just for the last 7K, and then got a taxi this morning back to that point. Today, we're going to a little town called Mala, Malaposta. Well, the only thing they love in Portugal more than cobblestones is tiles. They've got tiles on everything. Got lots of dogs too. It's certainly been hard going. A lot of people sort of say the Portuguese Camino is easier than the, the France's. Well, in my opinion, it's not. Antoinette just asked the question, how many fucking kilometers of this have we got? <laughs> what a day. Going from Malaposta to Porto, which is around about 27, 28 kilometers. We've walked about 14. Now we just walked past Grigio. Hoping to make it in Porto in about the next three to four hours. Not a good day for hiking. Soaking wet, which is not good. But we're getting there.
We walked out of Porta about three hours ago in the dark as usual. Absolutely amazing place. Could have easily spent more time there. Yeah, it's been good. It's just really great having a rest. He gave us some time to do some laundry, met some really lovely people to talk to, tried some really lovely port wines, um, great food, lots to see. OK, yes, yeah, so today we're walking on probably around 30 kilometres. We're walking to a town, Villa du Conde. I uh, didn't think I'd probably see the end of this Portugal coming home because of my injuries, but Lo and behold, slowly adjusting. Okay, this was a very special find. This is fenced off from the actual Camino you know, Trail. It's only accessible to those on the, the motorway. And of course, after you've been walking for about three or four hours, it seems like a good idea to stop there when there aren't other places around. So thankfully, we found a hole in the fence. Probably two days ago, I decided to put some shower cap covers over my shoes because I knew it was going to storm. We stopped off to have a cup of coffee and a nata. And as we were leaving, the lady stopped me, gave me a pair of socks and some extra food. I think she felt sorry for me, which I thought was just really lovely, really lovely. Her husband and son were in the background trying to work out what she was doing and she just kept putting her hand up to signal to me to stop, not to go out yet. And then I realised she was cracking up some extra pastries and gave me a pair of socks and looked down at my shoes. <laughs> Hi there, this is day, I don't know, whatever. But uh, today we're walking from Espacenda to Viana do Castella. Uh, I think it's around 25 kilometers. So I guess we're turning right. It's actually been quite beautiful, this particular part, sort of in a forest region, single track. It certainly makes a change from the bitumen roads and the cobblestone streets, the wooden boardwalks that are often slippery. Uh, it's a nice relief on our feet, I gotta say. Today we're walking from Viana do Castella to Camina, about 30, 30 kilometres, maybe just a little bit less. We started off a lot of cobbled streets and little villages, basically anything to keep us off the roads. And now we're on a bush track. You can climb a mountain, you can swim the sea, you can jump into the fire, but you never be free.
about eight kilometres out of Camina. Okay, today we are walking from Camina through to Tui, which is sort of cutting across from the coastal Portuguese Camino to the central route. Basically, the whole day is walking along the Minho River. We spent the first 11 kilometers walking along the highway to Villanova. And from there, we step down onto the river path that we're on now. Lots of activity, it's a Sunday, Sunday morning, cyclists out. Paddling, rowing. Just a kilometre or two out of Valencia. Then we cross over the bridge into Spain, Chewy, which is where we're spending the night. Hi, welcome to another day on the Camino. Been walking since about six o'clock, left Tui, and we're hoping to get to Redondela. I think that's how you say it. Going by the Brearley book, it mentions like just having a 17 kilometre day here to Perino and then another day on to Redondela. But we're trying to put them both together just to throw together about a 33 kilometre day. And this will get us back on track because we got a day behind. Like I said, we're about 20 kilometres in or close to it. So we've probably got about 10 to go. The first 10 were great, walking through some beautiful streams and forest areas. The second half, it's been a bit well, we've gone through industrial, now we're into some kind of residential area. A couple of hills in the second section as well. Um, so yeah, all going well. After today, we should just have three days left. That's if all goes to plan. And um, yeah, that'll get us to Santiago and I'll update more later. It's a shell. It's an arrow. It's a shell. It's an arrow. It's, it's a shell, shell arrow. <laughs> That's so dumb. Next day, today we're traveling from Redondela to Calas de Rey. So we're not exactly sure how far we're gonna to go today. We're gonna to go past Pontevedra and see how we go. Interesting in this section, obviously, there's quite a few people that we've passed today, a couple in front. A couple behind. But yeah, it's becoming more like the super highway. What else? We did a lot of washing. The place that we stayed at was an apartment, which was fantastic which is good. We stayed at the Alvia Apartments. So this is the next day. The next day being the second last day. Just a 19 kilometre day into Padron. Short day for us. We 
deserve it though because we did over close to 40 k's yesterday and I could barely walk into the city. Whereas today I'm so revived I can't believe it. Of a night time and you think, my God, I will never recover from that. It's just incredible how the human body heals itself. Great to be alive. Hello. Hello. American. Australia. 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 Yeah. Australiano. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. Adios. There. <laughs> Can't exactly think how many days it's been. Possibly 24, maybe. I'll think about it and put it on the screen. It's funny how you just kind of lose track of the whole time. Uh, got off to an early start today. Bit of an altercation with the hotel that we were staying at. I told at night time that breakfast was included. Then you get down there and they try to charge you for that. Bit of a rip off. Apart from that, it's all been good. One thing I have to say, beautiful flowers. The flowers are amazing, they're just everywhere. So vibrant, the colours are amazing. Probably, what is it, 16 kilometres now to Santiago and we're there. Yay! On Camino. We were feeling all Say no, say no, say no. Nobody here to hold our hand. We were so scared, let's not pretend. We were looking for a home Feeling lost and left for dead I can't believe this is the end Six kilometers out from San Diego It's been a struggle from the start It's always cold, it's always dark This world is cruel for the sharks When you're up, they'll kick you down A broken heart and broken soul to fight to take control Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me I made it! <laughs> Unbelievable! Are we having fun? Amazing. Hey, boy. <laughs> 